As you guys know, Fortnite highlights are a different type of Fortnite montage that consists of clean, smooth, and simplistic gameplay with minimal but effective effects. And as you guys know, I cover a lot of tutorials in DaVinci Resolve and Adobe After Effects, but today I'm going to be diving into highlight videos specifically in Adobe After Effects for advanced users. I'm going to have a bunch of free presets down below in the description for you guys to actually check out for this tutorial. And if you want to follow along with this video, you're probably going to need them, so go check that out. But I hope you guys do enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe and also leave me a comment down below let me know what you want to see in the channel in the next little bit i'll be sure to make a video on it but yeah let's get into the video okay so once you're actually on your pc you want to make sure that you actually have after effects installed because if you don't have after effects you can actually edit the video so if you guys don't have after effects installed you're actually going to want to go check out the link that i'll have in the description and basically what we're going to do after we've done that is just boot it up and i'll see you guys once i'm inside the software okay quickly before we actually get into the tutorial i want to quickly talk to you guys about my two editing packs that i have right now i recently just dropped my 2024 editing pack and that has absolutely everything you need in terms of content creation it'll help you make the best videos possible and make editing a lot easier when it comes to making your projects in my packs I have over 150 presets supporting DaVinci Resolve, After Effects, Premiere, and Sony Vegas, a ton of project files for my own videos, as well as videos that I've edited for my own clients. So you're able to actually edit professional videos based off of them. I have a ton of sample footage from some of the biggest YouTubers that I've edited for, practice clips for Fortnite, a sound effects library, music library, memes, literally everything you could ever need for editing. And if you guys can't actually afford my 2024 pack, I have an all-in-one $5 pack that's great for beginners as well. So if you guys want to check out either of those packs are going to be at the top of the description but i won't go on any longer let's get right back to the video okay so once we're inside of after effects it's super simple we're just gonna go here to new composition name it whatever sample montage advanced or something along those lines um and then you want to make sure that you're on 1920 by 1080 if your clips are 1920 by 1080 that's great um but you can also do 2560 by 1440 uh 3840 by 2160 i think it's 4k um so yeah just depending on what resolution your clips are a lot of people do 1440p nowadays uh but just to be safe 1920 by 1080 you can never go wrong uh make sure your frame rate's on 60 and we're actually just gonna press okay now like you guys probably already know because this is an advanced tutorial you guys know your media pool kind of thing uh, is up here in the top left so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna drag in our song and then we're gonna find our clips that we're gonna be editing and we're gonna drag that in the top left as well so um basically i'm going to drag in the song pay me i know it's getting so repetitive but i I use it in like all of my tutorials just because it's like a good song you're able to see the beats kind of clearly and they're defined in terms of like the uh, waveforms of the audio so that's kind of the reason i use it if you guys have any other song ideas by the way link them down below if you have any good montage songs that are copyright free put them down below in the comments i'll check them out did you guys know that 94 percent of you guys that watch my videos right now are not subscribed to the channel if you're in that 94 percent dude i don't know what you're doing just make sure to drop a sub anyways let's just get right back to the video and and what we're going to do is we're going to drag in um, some Fortnite clips. So these should be good. So I'm going to drag in these three. I want to make sure they're the right resolution, though. That's it. OK, so they are. So that should be good. I'm just going to keep that in there. Um, so we're going to drag in the song to start and we're going to start off with some basic syncing. Um, and if you guys don't know, control S is going to be your lifesaver. We're going to make sure we're saving it. So sample montage advanced. We're going to make sure that we save that there. Um, and I'm going to save that to wherever folder we can easily access it. So to bring up the waveforms and after effects, you guys probably know already, but it's LL on our keyboard. I press L twice. Make sure we got our headset on for this one. And like I said, you're going to be able to see the beats on the song super clearly. Um, so we can see that these spikes are here. Boom, 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 boom. These are all beats. So we're going to find that first beat drop just right here. And we're going to come to that beat and we're going to right click on the layer, go to markers, add marker. And another thing that I want to talk about in the advanced tutorials, adding transition points. So you guys know on beats, there's the beat. And then in a lot of hip hop songs, there will be like a little clap or a hi-hat after. I always add a marker on that hi-hat, hi-hat, sorry, because that is where I transition because I feel like that's kind of the best syncing. So clap, like you guys heard. So we got that beat right here, that second beat, boom, clap. And that should be good. 
good. So we're going to press control shift delete. Um, I don't know why that pops up sometimes, but control shift delete to cut the layer and we're going to slide it down. So we have this little 15 second almost segment that we're going to be working with. So to start off, um, you guys probably know just to preview a clip, I'm going to use probably these clips are kind of questionable. So we're just going to find our clip. We're going to go to either side of the kill. So we can see we get the kill here. We're going to cut down by pressing this button here out. We're going to come before we're going to press in and we're going to drag it in just like this. Now we want to make sure that we find wherever we get the kill and we can see the shotgun pellets here. So we're going to use our arrow keys to kind of go back and forth. We're going to add a marker on the kill where we get the shotgun pellets initially line that up with our marker on the song and we're just going to drag it out and cut it down. You can see the clips a little short. So we'll just cut down the audio as well. Drag that over. Should be good. Okay, so we're gonna do this with the next kill as well. Uh, a little bit of a jump up kill. So we're just gonna do that as well. Cut it in and out. Find our kill here. Boom, right here. Press N, go here. Drag this over, drag this out. Drag this over to the left, cut it. And there we go. So we got it all synced up. All we gotta do now is time remapping and effects. So time remapping is the only thing that changes kind of for these advanced tutorials, um, but I will go in depth more for keyframing. So my rule of thumb for time remapping on After Effects is always come to kind of where the character pulls out the shotgun or drops down or something like that. We're gonna split this layer here at that point. So if the player pulls out a shotgun, I always stop at that point um, and then I cut it. So we're gonna cut it. We're gonna press Control D to duplicate it. Now the top layer, we're gonna keep the video enabled but disable the audio. And then we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna disable the video on the bottom layer but keep the audio. So this will keep 100% speed audio without making the audio sound super slow, if that makes sense. Now we're gonna press Control Alt T to enable time remapping. Add a keyframe at the very beginning of the segment, the marker on the kill in the very end. We're gonna highlight all of them, press F9, go into our graph. And you can click in the green space and you should see little bumps like this. Super simple. Click in the first one, bring this one little yellow thing up a bit, bring this one down, bring this one here, bring this one down, bring this over. And if you see it dip down like this, you want to make sure you bring it up so it almost kind of flattens out. So just like that, you can make it a little less harsh if it kind of is too jumpy. There we go. Perfect. That's like literally exactly what we're going for. Now we're going to duplicate this here. So he comes up. We can see the shotgun comes out right here. A little bit closer to the kill. We're going to duplicate it. Disable. Disable. Control Alt T on this one here. Keyframe. 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 Select all of them. F9. Graph editor. Select this. Bring it up. Select this. Bring it down. Bring this up. Bring this down. Bring this over. Bring this up. Super simple. That's kind of the time remapping process that I use for that. Now, if you want to frame blend, you can literally click on the top layer, click this box twice so you can see a little arrow thing. So boom, that's how I do frame blending. Make it look smooth. That's normally what I do. That's normally what I do. And then for effects, they're super clean. I go over this in all my beginner tutorials. You're going to press your top layer, control alt Y, go to animation, apply one of the presets that I'll have in the description for free for you guys. I'll have a couple impacts in there. But like I mentioned earlier in the video, my editing packs gonna have a lot more for you guys to pick from, especially After Effects. I have like the most presets for After Effects. Uh, we're gonna line up the second keyframe for each impact. We can see this is where everything's set to zero, and then this is where everything peaks, and then this is where everything ends. So we're gonna cut it on that first keyframe, make sure we line up that second keyframe. We can even add a marker there, and then we're gonna go to the very end, cut that down. And then we can literally press Control D to duplicate this impact and line it up with this kill as well. So I'll quickly show you guys in a second. This is what it looks like with the impact. Gonna let it render a little bit. Okay. Super clean already. Boom, just like that. And if you want, you can add an adjustment layer underneath. You know, we could add like Joshi main build up number one or something like that. Drag in your second last keyframe to line up with the kill. And dude, it's that simple. Um, my edit pack is a lot of these builders, by the way. You can see it gets a little darker stretches. Boom, just like that. It's that simple. And transitions, literally go to the middle point, the separation point between the two. Control Alt Y. Drag any or apply any of these transition presets that are going to be in the description. I'll have like four of them up, right, left, down. Um, you guys can literally just line up that third keyframe. I'll have a transition tutorial if you have problems with that. Link down below in the description. And uh, that is that. So, also something that I've seen some people comment on is how do we actually 
fix saturation loss on clips. So I always use Hue Sat Bright and I'll literally change the saturation to like 1.1 or like 1.2. Sometimes I'll go as high as two. Sometimes I'll go, you know, as low as 1.1. Sometimes I'll go like 1.3, but we can see the with and without if we zoom in on the character is pretty significant. It color boosted a fair bit. So I'll normally take that, copy it, select these layers and apply it, um, which will kind of make the saturation consistent all throughout all the clips, which kind of definitely like you can see even with the sky here, it definitely makes it a lot brighter. So that makes a huge difference. But that is basically how you do that. Um, you just do that repeatedly with all your other clips throughout your montage. And eventually you'd have, you know, a minute long, minute 30, two minute long montage. If you just repeat the processes for this and kind of switch it up with impacts and the velocity will be different every clip, transitions, buildups, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, but if you guys are interested in that, my edit pack will literally have absolutely everything you guys need, including project files for my own montages. So you guys can kind of take a look and see how I did things for my own videos that I posted to the channel here. So if you guys did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers, dude. Uh, I've never been closer. Feels like we're literally just there. Um, so, you know, we're content grinding recently and trying to put out the best tutorials for you guys to learn how to edit. But yeah, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Hope you guys enjoy. Leave me some comments down below what you want to see in the channel over the next little bit. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.